So we made it into the entrance. on camera for the first time, Ronald Reagan quickly learned that every expression and gesture mattered. He also developed his comic timing. But I'm still just a You say it's an active duty, but his nearsightedness kept him from going overseas. Instead, he was assigned to the domestic motion picture unit. Thank you. 
This is the coat he was wearing. This is a replica of the gun that was used. You see it's very small. You can see where the bullet was. So these are his get well canes, notes from the president. Alright, this is the home office. These are some of Nancy's dresses. Some of these items are from the United Kingdom. I threw myself in the various first lady roles, spokeswoman, manager, hostess. These are some of the gifts. Her ability to orchestrate social events. She really grew in that office over time. Really did take that spotlight. Instead of having it just pouring light into her face, she turned to the It's pretty cool. Frank Sinatra. To Air Force One, it served seven, seven presidents, starting from Nixon all the way up to younger George Bush. This is pretty cool. This is a real actual vehicle. This is the control deck on Air Force One. That is crazy. There's so many things going on. I see Rudick. Hope I'm saying that right. He must have been a pilot. And say, see, he's got a, an old fashioned printer right in the front of the plane. So, welcome aboard. And I'm going now. They were encrypted, so we had two communications engineers working on the messages. There's a, a box, an attache case on the floor there. It's called a football. 
and the contents are still classified, but it's believed to contain nuclear codes, communication device necessary if we are to come under attack. There's a military aide who would carry that football, so wherever the president went, he or she would be with them within 10 to 15 feet of them. I'm still here? <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> so this is a duplicate. President um, Biden, his military aide has one similar to it. They say it weighs about 30, 40 pounds. Oh. So um, you, when you see President Biden, you'll probably see the military aide within, you know, within oh, 10 to 15 feet just carrying that football. Cool. And this is the only kitchen? This is a little galley. That's for President Reagan, Mrs. Reagan, and the flight crew. There's a bigger one in the back that served everybody else, but they all had same kind of food and no special, you know, diet, dietary needs for anybody. And that's President Reagan's office, followed by Mrs. Reagan's office. And they share a little powder room, no shower on board. So, and no best, so they actually had to touch down if they want to shower or spend the night. The jelly beans. <laughs> mm. You can see all Air Force One. That's cool. Feels like he was just here and he just pulled over for a little bit. Sir? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 This is the staff room where a senior staff would be seated. The White House doctor was also in this area. That gentleman represents Lieutenant Colonel Chilander that oftentimes carried the football in the black bag up front. There were two secretarial stations. One was for the First Lady Secretary and one was for the President. The next room is additional staff they invited guests, so if he brought family members, they'd be seated there. Then Secret Service and then... The this is the uh, Reagan Batmobile or Presidential Mordecai. It's a Cadillac.
giving up SDI. I couldn't believe it and blew my tongue. The meeting is over, I said. With diplomatic talks stalled after Reykjavik, President Reagan travels to the Berlin Wall to deliver one of the most pivotal speeches in American history. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Near this place. mourns the passing of a president tonight. Ronald Reagan, surrounded by his family, died at his home in California today. President Reagan spoke the President Reagan stepped forward. And he did it all with great humility, with great charm, and with great humility. Final letter to the American people of Dan Reagan so well. I now begin the journey that will lead me into the sunset of my life. This evening, this evening, he is home now. He is free. So very kind meet him now in the memory. But we will join him soon enough, always. All right, we're in the FBI exhibit at the Reagan Museum. And this is the famous vehicle. They died in this vehicle? Were they shot and died in this vehicle? I can't die in this vehicle? Yes, they did. They did. It's a 169 bullet. Wow. And they were ambushed. By the feds? By the police and yeah, FBI. Who was driving? I think he was. He was. And she was sitting next to him. Where's the poster? It's just a movie. I've seen it. But there's a bunch of seals out there, and I didn't like those seals. sniper vehicle using the DC shootings. You can see where they shot to that little hole. Okay. 
of the client from the World Trade Center. Sure is beautiful. There's the M1 Abrams. Here's a piece of the Berlin Wall. Final resting place of Reagan and Nancy. 